For a story? Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't wait! Please read to us! Okay then, here we go. This is one of my favorites. It's called Raggedy Ann and Andy's Adventure. The day before Christmas was always baking day at Marcella's grandmother's house. So every year, Marcella's mother would drop her off so that she and Grandma could bake their special Christmas cookies together. Merry almost Christmas, Grandma! And a merry almost Christmas to you, Marcella. I've got to do some last-minute shopping, so I'll see you both in a few hours. Bye-bye! See you later! So after waving goodbye, Grandma and Marcella went into the house to get started. Oh my, I didn't know I was getting two extra helpers today. Raggedy Ann and Andy are just gonna watch, Grandma. They promise to be very good and not get in the way. Well, I'm happy to have you both, Raggedy Ann and Andy. Now, let's get going. We have a lot of cookies to make. So Marcella and her grandma began to pour and stir and mix while Raggedy Ann and Andy watched. At last, they were all done preparing the cookies. How long will they take to bake, Grandma? Oh, just a little while. But Grandma, even a little while is a long time when you're waiting for cookies. What's that, Raggedy Ann? Why, that's a wonderful idea. I'll tell Marcella. While you wait for the cookies to bake, Raggedy Ann and Andy want to go outside and build a snowman. That's great! And you can call us when the cookies are done. But what will you do, Grandma? I'm going to finish knitting these scarves. They're Christmas presents for Raggedy Ann and Andy. They're beautiful, Grandma. They're going to love them. Come on, guys. Let's go make a snowman. So while the cookies baked and Raggedy Ann and Andy watched, Marcella set to work building a snowman. First, she rolled three big balls of snow together. Then she found an icicle. The first one was too big. But the second was just right. Next, she used two buttons for eyes and turned a bright red string into a smile. Then, Marcella dug through an old chest in Grandma's attic and found a pair of mittens, a hat, and a vest. When he was done, the snowman was quite a handsome fellow, if I do say so myself. Marcella, we've got to get going! But, Mom, the cookies are still baking. I'm sorry, honey, but I forgot to get the turkey in the oven, so we've got to go right now. But, Mom... Oh, that's all right, dear. You go home with your mother, and I'll bring the cookies over later. Please hurry, Marcella. 
So feeling very rushed, Marcella raced inside to get her backpack, then hurried to hug Grandma goodbye. But as she ran to her mother's car, Marcella couldn't help but feel that she had forgotten something very important. How could Marcella just leave us here? She didn't mean to, Andy. She just gets so excited and busy around Christmas. I'll say, do you remember what happened last year? Sure. She accidentally forgot us at her cousin's and we got shoved under the bed. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> and we almost had to spend Christmas next to a dirty pair of socks. Ugh. Okay, so maybe she forgets us sometimes, but we're still her favorite toys. Well, I'm not sitting around waiting for her to remember us. What do you mean, Andy? What are we gonna do? We're gonna have some fun. Did you say fun? Who said that? I did. Who are you? I'm Snowden. And you're Raggedy Ann and Andy. How did you know that? Oh, it's amazing how much this head of snow knows. It's fun to be a snowman and play outside all day. I laugh and dance, I jump and sing, so join me on my way. The creatures of the forest love the snow so light. A twinkle of my magic nose makes all things fun and bright. It's fun. It's magic. Quite fantastic. Swirling, sparkling. Play with me in my winter wonderland. Oh, yes, it's fun to play with Snowden. And be with him all day. We laugh and dance and jump and sing. It's a magic winter day. It's fun. It's magic. Quite fantastic. Swirling, sparkling. Play with me in my winter wonderland. Oh, yes, it's fun to play with Snowden. And be with him all day. We laugh and dance and jump and sing. It's a magic winter day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Raggedy Ann? I miss Marcella. I wish we could be home with her right now. I can help you get home. You can? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Snowden. But I don't want to go home. <laughs> you don't? But, Andy, why not? Because I want to have an adventure. But you can't have an adventure. You're a toy. <laughs> yeah! Honk, honk. Then I won't be a toy anymore. I'll be an animal. Honk, honk, honk. I bet they have lots of adventures. Honk. <laughs> Andy, you can't be an animal. Why not? Hey, Mr. Squirrel. Want to have an adventure? <clears throat> Guess not. Because we have to go home. Listen, sis. You can go home if you want. But I want to be an animal and have some fun. Then I'm staying with you, little brother. Always. All right. Well, then, if it's an animal you wish to be, follow me. Whoopee! Adventure! We're going to be animals! So, I led the two toys, oops, I mean X-toys, deep into the woods. Why are we stopping here? To find out exactly what animal you'd like to be, of course. Yes, yes, uh, just a minute, uh, just a minute. Well, well, a merry almost Christmas to you, Snowden. The same to you, Mr. Mouse. Allow me to introduce my new friends, Raggedy Ann and Andy. 
It's very nice to meet you, Mr. Mouse. Delighted. <sighs> if I'm not mistaken, and I rarely mistake about anything, you two are toys. We were toys, but now we're going to be animals and have an adventure. Hmm. Animals, eh? Of course! <laughs> Glad I thought of it! Attention! From now on, you two ex-toys will be mice. You'll walk like mice, talk like mice, and eat like mice. Is that understood? Yes, sir! <laughs> But I don't get it. Why are we back at Grandma's house if we're not toys anymore? Because you're not here in your former capacity as toys. You're here as mice. And as mice, your first adventure is to go into Grandma's kitchen and find some cheese. So, instead of going through the front door with Marcella like they had so many times before, this time, Raggedy Ann and Andy crept through the little door at the bottom of the kitchen door. The cat's door. And as you probably know, where there's a cat's door, there's usually a cat. change their minds. Though being mice wasn't quite the adventure Raggedy Ann and Andy were looking for, they weren't giving up quite yet. I guess no one's home. Never fear! Baby Bunny's here! What can I do for you, citizens? Is there trouble brewing? Someone need rescuing? How about you, Snowden? How can I be of assistance? So I told BB Bunny how Raggedy Ann and Andy wanted to be an animal so that they could have an adventure. You've come to the right place, citizens. Not only will I teach you to be rabbits, but I'll teach you to be super rabbits. <laughs> Looks like Raggedy Ann and Andy are going to make super duper rabbits. They do have the bouncing part down quite nicely. But what about the stopping part? Gosh, you may have a point there, Snowden. Okay, rabbits, enough bouncing. Try stopping. But how? Yeah, these springs don't have an off button. Hmm. <gasps> I know. Not to worry, Snowden. This is where the adventure part comes in. Okay, guys, just follow my instructions and I'll have you down faster than you can say Jack Reddit. Pull the springs off your feet! Jack Reddit! Are you all right? Of course they are. Great job, guys. Have a carrot. Thanks. Gosh, I hope we have better luck being an animal this time. Hmm, oh yes, that's positively fascinating. I must make a note of that. Oh, Mr. Redbird! What? Who's there? 
Oh, <laughs> Snowden, it's you. I do hope this is important. You see, I was right in the middle of a very stimulating part of my book. So, I told Mr. Redbird how the toys wanted to be something other than themselves. Well, this is absolutely smashing. After I've taught you to be birds, I'll write my own book on the subject. I'll call it Raggedy Ann and Andy Fly. Fly? Wow! This is amazing! Yes, and it's very high up, too. <laughs> Look, there they are. Hello! This is sure to put me on the best seller list. Oh! Look! It's Marcella's house! You know, sis, I kind of miss being a toy. Oh, Andy! You mean it? Snowden, we don't want to be birds. Or rabbits. Or mice. We just want to be toys again. Yeah, being a toy is my kind of adventure. Hmm. There goes my book. Snowden, now that we're toys again, will you still help us get home? I know the way. I saw Marcella's house from the sky when we were birds. I mean, trying to be birds. Of course I will. Helping you is what I'm here for. Wow! Hop in, friends! But how does the sleigh go, Snowden? Why, reindeer power, of course. Need a lift, Snowden? We sure do. Can you get us home for Christmas? Of course. Getting toys home for Christmas is our specialty. Marcella will still want us? She will, Andy. Even if we can't be with her all the time, I know she loves us. 
We sure had a great adventure, didn't we, Snowden? We sure did. Uh, come on, I'm sure Marcella can't wait to see you. Funny, there's no one here. <gasps> You're back! Oh, I missed you so much. But how did you get here? Mom, Dad, Raggedy Ann and Auntie came home. Grandma must have dropped them off. It's not going to be a terrible Christmas after all. And so, Raggedy Ann and Andy made it home before Christmas, and everyone was very, very happy. The end. Great story! I loved it! Read it again, please! I extra specially liked the part about the bunny. She was funny! <laughs> Oh, yes. After that, we played together every winter. Oh, it is another one. Oh, yeah. Please, Snowden. Please, yes, please. Snowden, Snowden, please tell me another one. What about you? Are you ready for another adventure? <laughs> Thank you. 